Uh, yours is upside down. <laughs> I found this beautiful gallery wall on Etsy, but it was like $850. And I said we could definitely make that one. So we went out and got five one by sixes, made a couple of 45 degree cuts, and repurposed some frames we had around the house. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build or make it? So do we, and we do it every week. <laughs> this week, we're making a gallery wall, which is basically just frames for our frames. Yeah, well, it's more than just frames for our frames. We're going to build frames for our frames. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to build a big artistic border around frames. Some of the frames we already have, I picked up a couple of extras, but some of them I just took family photos right out of yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna make a big artistic wall of frames a gallery wall a gallery wall <laughs> step one we're gonna gather all of our supplies we really just needed a couple <laughs> of one by sixes some picture frames some stencils and paint step two now we're gonna make all of our cuts we're just gonna make uh, like six 18 by 18 inch frames out of these one by sixes. I'm going to set up a jig so that all of them are exactly the same size, all the sides, and I shouldn't have any problems putting them together. Step three! Now we're going to assemble all of our big frames using some pocket holes. You could probably use some glue but we don't have time for that. Nobody's so got time for the glue. Nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna pocket hold them together. We put pocket holes in about half of the boards. Two for each frame, two sides for each frame. And now we're just gonna glue them and screw them together with a one and a quarter inch pocket hole screw. Step four. Now we stand. <laughs> First tee. <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta run to a basketball game, <laughs> so we'll let these dry. Step five, now we're gonna paint. We're gonna lay down a base paint for all of our big frames. Base paint, big frames. Two are gonna be black, two are gonna be country gray, and two are gonna be a French linen. We <laughs> read. Our base layer is dry. We're going to start adding our stencil design. I picked up some stencils from Michael's. We could make them on the Cricut, but a lot of times folks are asking if they can get them somewhere else. So I just picked these up at Michael's and Garrett's not even using a stencil. I'm using tape. He's making stripes. Tape them. Yeah, stripes. All right, let's do it.
right. Last two. That took a long time. Yeah, that took a long time. That was a lot of dabbing. So dabbing, oh my God. Step six. Now that the big frames are dry, it's time to paint all of our little frames. Well, the ones that we are going to paint. Yeah, so some of them I had purchased and are empty. Some of them I literally took out family photos and we're gonna paint them and attach them to our larger frames. So can I lay them out and we'll decide yeah. what we wanna do? Let's lay them out. All right, I've kind of done a little pre-design here. No, nope, you go over there. You go over here. Some of them are already the right colors, I think. Some of them, close, close like enough. this green one, doesn't really match the scheme. So I'm going to paint a few of them. And this one, which is so cute, it's white with these little metal flowers. I think it's going to need some wax. So no paint. We're just going to add a little distressing wax to make it like this one's bright white and doesn't go with this. But I think Garrett is going to add some black wax on it. Oh yay, black wax. And while he does that, I'm going to paint this one black and I'm going to paint this one country gray. Step seven. Now we're gonna glue the frames to the big frames, the small frames to the big frames using Gorilla Glue. So it'll seal the gaps, make it look concrete. Okay, and the last one is this 8 by 10 frame, the big frame. The opening is on the back of the frame is larger than the opening on our back frame back. So we think for this one, we're just going to um, add some Velcro strips to the back and attach it that way so it can be removed so the photo can be changed. Black Velcro so you can't see it. Wow, magic! All right, so all we can do now is wait. Like, is wait. It says like two hours, but we'll give it like an hour. <laughs> Which means tomorrow, because it's late. So what do you think of this week's project? It was really pretty easy and it makes such a huge statement for such a simple project. And I repurposed some frames that I had. I literally just painted them. <laughs> yeah, it was like a super simple project too. I mean, five one by sixes, a couple of 45s with some pocket holes. That is easy right there. So I know you're thinking to yourself, what happened to all that staining they did? They looked great, right? Well, that was my plan. The plan was to stain them, distress them so that you could see the dark stain underneath. But after we did all of this painting, <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to sand it all off. So I left it as is. So that was a little extra step that we might not have needed to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or use the vinyl stencils. I wouldn't have felt so bad about taking some of this paint off and making it look old. Right, maybe a little bit easier. <laughs> if you like this week's project, leave us a comment down below. You know, I love to read those. 
Tell us what color scheme you may have used or if you were be if you're interested in building the same wall. You should leave a lot of comments because she has to answer them all. Yeah, sometimes I'm not great about it. <laughs> Step four, that's five. You, you did that before, but I wasn't saying Step. That. Step four. Woo. <laughs> Step four. <laughs> One more. Okay. Step four. Step four. Step four. Gosh. Step four. Now we stand. Step five. Oh, I didn't know that one was coming. Now we paint.